Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another sales video. So in today's video, we're going to do 10 sales in approximately 10 minutes as usual. If you uh, like to see these sales updates, if you like to see all manner of eBay stuff, then please do consider subscribing. Obviously, I'm an eBay reseller in the UK and I do all manner of videos on eBay reselling. I try and do it for a few tips in there. I show you my sales. I do vlogs. I do loads of random stuff to be honest too much to, to even mention so definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already but with that being said we shall get on with the sales update so here we've got these uh, BBC.2 Jadoon figures and I actually put in the title army builder because these three figures in the middle are actually the same figure so they're, they're just, I think the figure's entitled Jadoon Captain. So they are actually just the same figure. But what I thought was Lego, in Lego, um, a lot of people do like clone armies. So like Star Wars clones. We do like, they put a base plate out, a Lego base plate out. And then they just buy tons of the same figure and do like a, a little clone army. And I thought to myself, well, maybe it might be worth just putting that uh, in the title for these. And, and do a bundle of very similar or even the same figures. And uh, see if anyone actually uh, buys it. And it, it didn't take too long to sell. So I don't know whether someone is going to use these for, for an army builder. Maybe we might more use them for just a small display of Jadoon on a shelf or something like that. Um, but certainly it might have uh, helped putting that in the title. So $14.99 plus postage on that one. These just came from a Doctor, a Doctor Who job lot I sniped. So it'll just go to pay, paying for, uh, for those job lots. I've been selling quite a lot of these now. They've been selling quite consistently, so that's always good to see. And I've been getting fairly decent prices for them as well. So, yeah, it was a nice little bundle there. Um, we've got this next. We've got this Dinky uh, Toys 408 Big Bedford Lorry. Had this for a long time. I'm, I'm actually in profit on the job lot this, this came from. It was the die-cast job lot I got ages and ages ago. I think I had it up originally for about £10 more than this. But I've slowly brung it down over the course of probably about 12 months or maybe even 18 months, and uh, yeah, it's finally sold for 34.19 plus postage, which is brilliant because obviously that's uh, pure profit after postage and fees and the rest of it. So yeah, pretty happy. These uh, die cast are always worth looking out for. Obviously, if we're in brilliant condition like this one is here, and they even have the box. Now, yeah, granted this box isn't in very good condition, but if they have the box and they are obviously in really good condition like this one, they're generally go they're going to be worth some decent money. There are obviously going to be exceptions to that. There might be ones that are in perfect condition, but they're just not, you know, they're not necessarily uh, sought after. But certainly if it's like a decent brand like Dinky Toys and, and some of the die casts that you're looking at have got some decent age to them, then generally it's, they're going to be a half decent buy. But yeah, as I say, some of them, it depends on what what you're looking at, but generally a lot of them are, are a decent buy. So yeah, that was pretty ha pretty happy with that one there. Next, obviously, I've talked about these to death. Um, I got a, a large job lot of these from the auction about a year ago. Uh, it's actually one of my most popular videos, the, the auction haul. Um, and yeah, I've just been selling through these. Again, something that's pure profit after postage and fees and the rest of it. Um, and yeah, £10.58 plus postage on these. Uh, definitely worth looking out for these uh, carved African figures. A lot of people refer to them as, as like souvenir pieces or, you know, just generally like... Um, Sort of more amateur carved uh, figures, these ones. Um, but yeah, quite happy. Uh, oh, actually, I've put it in the uh, title there, uh, Tourist there. Well, to sometimes, sometimes they're called Tourist Pieces or Souvenir Pieces. Um, but yeah, definitely worth uh, worth buying that job. Like, I paid like 45 quid for like about 40 or 45 figures. Um, and yeah, that was that did me really well. Pro I probably made like three or four hundred off, off those figures. So really, really good buy that was last year. So yeah, they, they just keep ticking along. I've still got a few of them actually. Next, we've got this uh, Doctor Who uh, figure bundle. We've got Perry Brown and the Fifth Doctor. Now you might be thinking it's a little bit low that price that I got there. Well, it's only because the figure here, you can see he's got some play wear to his nose and then on his hair there. And generally his coat is looking a little bit worse for wear some marks and stuff i did try and clean them up the best i can but you're not really gonna sort that play wear out unless you give it some more attention like i don't know how you'd sort it out maybe like we re reapply some paint or something um but yeah so i just basically brought the price down a little bit maybe you could have got for this bundle 25 quid plus postage something like that um but yeah so i just brought it down a little bit because i don't like selling a figure that has some play wear or damage for for full price you know i, I just don't think it's particularly fair i think you know, just bring it, bring the price down slightly, and and account for that uh, for that damage really, or that little bit of. Play.
play where. So, yeah, uh, 1999 plus my postage on that one. Uh, next, again, that just came from a Doctor Who job lot. Um, next was this uh, Vintage Large Heavy Brass Key. Now, if you don't follow me over on Instagram, you might want to consider going over there and following me. I generally post my sales over on Instagram earlier than I do on YouTube. And not only that, I actually post a, some, a, a few different variants of sales as well. So, not you know, the sales that you see on these videos aren't necessarily all the sales you're going to see on Instagram and vice versa. The sales you see on Instagram aren't necessarily going to be all the sales you see on here. But what, the reason I do that is so that then, even if you do follow me on Instagram and see the sales first, you're still going to want to watch this, these videos because I'm, I'm, you know, giving it a bit more variety. And, and again, vice versa, if you watch these videos, you're still going to want to follow me on Instagram because there, there's some different sales over there. So if you did follow me on Instagram, then you will have seen this as a post I made. Uh, this was a vintage large heavy brass decorative key. It was 49 centimeters, 2.4 kilos. I showed this in a whole video. It's actually uh, the thumbnail of the video is me holding this big key up and it says the key to success. And um, yeah, it took a long time to sell this, about 10 or 11 months. But I did actually get a really decent price for it, 44.99, uh, 44.54 even, uh, plus my postage. Now, a lot of these keys I was seeing going for 20, 25, 30 quid. Um, and I really did push the boat out and tried to get 50 quid. And then obviously I've just bought it down uh, over over months and it's, it's ended up selling at 44 quid. Um, but yeah, still got a really good price for this. Now, you might be thinking, well, why did it take so long to sell at 10 or 11 months? Um, the reason I feel it took that long to sell is because of the title. You can see that on some of my other titles, like this one, for example, I've, you know, I've packed in the keywords there. I've got some good keywords in there. Maybe, um, you know, something like this one. I've got bongos, tourist, decor piece, African, carved, etc., wooden. There's loads of different, you know, I just pack my titles out generally. With this one, the, the key isn't, the, the key, the title isn't packed out as much. So, Obviously, in search, it might not have been picked up as much. So, if I had packed that title out a bit more, no doubt I probably could have sold it within a couple of months, you know, a month or two. Um, but yeah, I just didn't do that and I should have done that really. So, next, we've got some more Dot Two figures. We've got this companions bundle. So, I thought it would be pretty cool just to do a bundle of companions. So, we've got Martha, Donna, Mickey, and Amy in there. I don't think I had a rose at the time. So, I, or maybe I did have a rose, but she had a bit of play wear on or something I didn't want to include necessarily. Um, so, yeah, I just put Mickey in there. So, we've got Martha, Mickey, uh, Donna, and, uh, and Amy there. Um, so, yeah, I put 11 95 for these figures plus postage. Now, you can actually get sometimes... and. It depends if you're willing to wait a little bit, but you can actually get about £10 for the Amy figure on her own. It does depend though, you sometimes have to wait a while, but I decided with these just to put them all together. So eleven ninety five was a fairly decent price, a fairly decent value for uh, someone who was buying these, and uh, yeah, they seem to go fairly quickly. Maybe if I was doing a figure bundle like this in the future, I might just bump the price up to fourteen ninety five, something like that, because as I say, for that figure individually, you can sometimes get... £10, so uh, definitely, you know, that's still going to be good value for someone buying it for the four figures there. Um, but yeah, so doing these like little um, companion bundles with Doctor Who figures might be something that you might want to consider if you do, um, obviously, do Doctor Who bundles. Um, so next is something that I've had for a very long time. We've got its Alton Towers 13, the roller coaster, uh, plush toy, like a little, I suppose it's like a, a little memory of the day or whatever you want to call it, a souvenir or whatever. Um, but yeah, 14 99 plus posted that. I think I paid like three quid from a charity shop, two, anywhere between two and four quid. I can't remember exactly. It was a very, very long time ago I bought this, but between about two and four quid and um, yeah, 14 99 plus my postage on there. Um, so yeah, it was a nice little sale, but it just took far too long to go. And as you can see, the title isn't necessarily you know, a short title. I've got quite a few keywords in there. I've got quite uh, quite a lot in there, packed in there. So it is odd that that did take so, such a long time to sell, but sometimes do things do just generally take a while to sell. But there are, there are factors that come into play. I mean, maybe my photos could have been improved a little bit there or something that maybe just could have given it a little bit of an edge of the competition and then mine might have sold a little bit faster. But yeah, 
14.99 plus postage on that one, so that was fairly nice. Um, we've got these Viners, um, Vintage Viners Silver Plate Tea and Coffee Pot Set. Um, now, these were a little bit tarnished, as you can see. I think it's uh, tarnished, uh, the stuff on there. Basically, it just doesn't look the best, as you can see. Um, and, yeah, I got 24.99 for these plus postage now. I was trying to get more for these, like, I was, well, I was thinking I would get more for these, like, I was doing some research and I was thinking, oh, these must be like 40 or 50 quid for this set, it's got to be 40 or 50 quid, but it turns out they just aren't worth that, and it was a shame, really, because I was really thinking, you know, I'd get a bit more than, than uh, I obviously got for these, because they are Viners at the end of the day, it's a good name, obviously we've got a, a large coffee pot, we've got a teapot there as well, and we've got, obviously, what is it, a sugar bowl and uh, milk jug there, so... You know, it, it it was a nice little set, and I just feel it should have been should be worth a little bit more. But I end up having to go at the price it was selling for. Otherwise, I'm just going to be sat on it forever. Um, so some people were getting like thirty quid for these. Some people were getting about twenty five quid. So I went for twenty five quid, even with the tarnishing, and uh, I just whacked it on twenty five quid plus postage, and they did sell. I don't I don't think it was. It wasn't really slow, but it wasn't really quick. Maybe about a month or a month and a half. So, uh, yeah, you know, nice items, but just a shame they're not worth as much as maybe I thought they were. Um, now, this is a sale I want to highlight because you can see here, I don't think I've ever shown a sale. Well, maybe a few minifigures, Lego minifigures, but I don't think I've ever, aside from that, I don't think I've ever shown a sale where I've only got one photo on my listing, as I say, aside from the, from the minifigures. Um, so for whatever reason, I only did one photo on this listing, so no wonder it took a while to sell. It took quite a while to sell this one. Um, it's because I've not even shown the inside of it, have I? So I don't know. I feel like I did take a photo with the inside of it, and maybe even a couple of other photos, but maybe I didn't add them to the listing. I don't know, but I do remember... I'm pretty sure I remember opening this and taking a photo from the inside, so... Yeah, maybe I just forgot to actually add it to the listing at some point. I, I don't know. Maybe that happened. Um, but yeah, this is an Ernest and Julio, uh, Julio Gallo Coastal Vineyards wooden box. It's a two-bottle bo presentation box. Nine ninety-five plus postage. So I can't believe someone actually bought that without even seeing me inside. So uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm amazed that that even sold with just for one photo on there. So always remember, uh, take more than one photo, especially for something like this where you really do need to take more than one photo. Uh, I know I'm pretty much preaching to the choir here again, but uh, yeah, for whatever reason, I mucked up on that one and didn't do another photo, so yeah. Anyway, so that's that one. And then finally, we've got these vintage Tams, dark olive green soup bowls. Uh, these have got these like stick uh, stick uh, style handles. I've seen these quite a lot. You know, there's a lot of these with these stick style handles. I think we were like 60s. I'm guessing the 60s. Maybe 70s, but we're probably more 60s then uh, with the style. And I'll just see if I've... Yeah, I've got a photo there. So it's just Tams, England. Um, and yeah, I've got six of them there, obviously, with the sauces as well, or with the little side plates or whatever. Um, and then, as you can see here, I've got 17 99 for those, plus 5 99 postage. As you can see, this was a quite an old listing again, because I've got 5 99 postage, which, obviously, the Hermes prices have changed now to 6 49 So that must have been quite a while ago if I, if I listed that with 5 99 uh, Hermes shipping. Um, so, yeah, anyway... Those are all the sales. I think we've probably just done about 10 minutes now. Um, so, yeah, I will leave it there. If you enjoyed the video, then please do like it. If you haven't already, then please do subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys.